somebody unearthed an Appalachia back back in the overhang of Kentucky. Be dig number three today. Got Morgan back with me. Got Sharon back. Guys, I don't know if we're gonna go back in there or just kind of hit and miss today and try out some different spots. I know I was talking to Morgan about maybe moving that rock and maybe that one and going underneath. Guys, if we find anything, we'll get back with you later. All right, guys, we're back. We've been digging right here. And I was sitting here with the wiggle pick and I stuck it in the wall right in here. And look at what rolled out. It's broke. But an artifact safe from the ground. We'll take that every day. Well, guys, if we find anything else, we'll get back with you later. Alright guys, we're back. I believe we're going to wrap it up for the day. We've We've done quite a bit today. And just haven't found very much. Hit a little dry spell. Show you what all we found. A little pile of flint, pottery, and this one I had on film. Right here, I believe. Probably a little uniface blade broke. Guys, we're going to pack it up and head out of here and get warm. So, we'll catch you on the cleanup later. Alright guys, back with the cleanup. Well guys, I'm just going to tell you straight out. We had, I mean you can see, we found stuff. But we didn't have the day that we did the other day. Found a little bit of pottery. And chunks of flint here. I believe this was, I'd say this was probably a tool at one time, an old crude tool. I mean, you can see the working on the edges and its unit face. That's just a cushion flake and little small things, flakes there. Now, the biggest thing we found is I was wiggle picking and rode this out of the wall. It's a broke. I don't know if that would have been an old crude Adena or what, but it's broke. That sucks. And I believe this was a big scraper. It's broke right here. You can see how they worked it down. It's unifaced. The guys, when I got in this overhang the very first dig, I thought to myself, I said, man, this place hasn't been touched and then the more me and Morgan kept looking at it the more I seen that somebody else had been in there and what it looks like to me is when you walk in that overhang everything almost from the middle of that overhang on the right side is dry and then everything on the left is wet and every bit of this stuff that you've seen in these videos have come from the left. All this stuff's come from the left side of the overhang. And we done a few sample holes on the right side. We wasn't even finding flakes of flint, nothing like that. And then I ended up talking to a buddy of mine. And he said that it had been dug. He said he didn't know how much of it they had dug. So... I think from now on, we're going to concentrate more on the left side of the overhang because I know on the right side when me and Morgan was digging, you know, we was digging through a lot of dirt that wasn't rocky at all. And like Morgan was talking about, he said it looks like it's done being sifted. But then when you get on the left, it's real rocky and stuff. So I think we're going to concentrate more on the left. I don't know how many digs we're going to have in this overhang. But now me and Morgan are talking about going out 
we're gonna start doing some metal detecting videos. And now Morgan, he's he bottled eggs a lot. And I've never bottled egg before, so I think I'm gonna get in on that with him. And probably have a few videos of that. Because like in my description it says saving all history, so you know, whatever I can dig up out of the ground that's old, I'll save it. But guys, like you see, this is what we've got. And hopefully, we'll get back with you with another video with maybe a better day than this. But guys, until then, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next dig. Later.